Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. California thug breaks into home, fed up elderly victim gives him brutal surprise. An 80-year-old man in Tuolumne City, California, was recently disturbed by the sound of voices on his property. Moments later, he came face to face with a vile thug who was not welcome, and the elderly man delivered a brutal surprise. It takes a pretty stupid person to wander onto a complete stranger's property, but that is exactly what the Tuolumne County Sheriff's Office is saying happened on Tuesday, May 22, 2018, at the residence of an 80-year-old man and his wife. According to the Modesto B, the shocking incident took place in the late evening hours when the homeowner heard the sound of voices coming from a rental home on his property next to the house that he and his wife live in. Before going to investigate the strange voice he heard coming from the house next door, he grabbed his gun according to police. This homeowner had to be aware of the fact that every week in our country there are numerous home invasions where the victims are robbed, beaten, raped, or murdered. The fact of the matter is the elderly gentleman wasn't about to become one of those statistics. Tuolumne County Sheriff's spokeswoman Sergeant Andrea Benson said that the homeowner and his wife were confronted by 29-year-old Bryce Lawrence in the house they rent out on Hodge Avenue, which is currently unoccupied, and the homeowner feared for his life and the life of his wife. This is when things took a turn for the worse. The intruder probably never realized that he was about to be the one who was headed to the hospital. The bottom line here is that Lawrence had no business being in the elderly couple's rental house on their property. The moment he decided to violate the sovereignty of their home is the moment here and what was coming to him. Lawrence, who authorities said is a transient, confronted the homeowner and was immediately shot. According to local news source My Mother Load, the homeowner put one round in Lawrence's upper torso dropping him to the ground. When police arrived, they found the homeowner and his wife safe and sound, thanks to their decision to exercise their Second Amendment right to bear arms. According to the sheriff's office, Lawrence was accompanied by a female, later identified by police as 24-year-old Brianna Ireland of Sonora. Ireland was arrested by the responding deputies, and Lawrence was reportedly transported by ambulance to the Adventist Health Sonora Medical Center. Later, Lawrence was flown to a Modesto hospital for treatment of his gunshot wound. No update on Lawrence's condition was available on Wednesday, according to Sergeant Benson. Ireland was taken to Tuolumne County Jail and booked on suspicion of burglary, and Lawrence will most definitely be arrested and taken into custody should he survive the gunshot wound inflicted on him by the fed-up homeowner. In my opinion, Lawrence got exactly what he deserved for unlawfully entering a home belonging to a complete stranger. The harsh reality in our country today is that dozens of innocent people are badly injured or murdered in home invasions on a weekly basis. The filth in our society has no qualms about brutalizing innocent people for their own personal gain. This is why it's so important for law-abiding Americans to help preserve and exercise their right to bear arms. Once again, the Second Amendment pulls its own weight. An elderly couple in Tuolumne City, California are alive and well because they took it upon themselves to lawfully own a firearm and were ready to use it when evil darkened their doorstep. Perhaps the intruders picked the elderly couple as a target because they assumed it would be easy to overpower them should a confrontation arise. In this case, they couldn't have been more wrong. Now, the two thieving criminals will spend time behind bars for their behavior and very likely will think twice before trying to victimize other innocent people. The next time you hear some anti-gun activist preaching about how gun owners in America are dangerous people, share this story with them. The mainstream media won't do anything but vilify lawful gun owners, so it's up to us to spread the word when stories like this emerge. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.